Another thing that I have noticed and I want to point out, you got this Q out there, right? Somebody put together a scheme, this Q scheme, which I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> this Q scheme was designed to be stretched out and keep a whole bunch of young frogs. I think it's just one big fishing expedition. I think what it is is anybody that's paying attention to this Q scheme gets sucked in and they know to come to your house, right? In other words, uh, you, they ping your address. You know, they, they know what your IP address is and they'll send technology to your house because, oh, we got one over here that's awake. We got another patriot. We got another frog over here. Attack them. Well, that's exactly what happened to me, except I wasn't even doing the Q thing. I think the reason that the media kind of thought maybe I was Q. <laughs> Why do you, what I'm get? Okay, look, you got all this information out there, right? It's, that's a lot of information that would throw the left under the bus, undoubtedly. That Q book, <laughs> I mean, fuck, all the information you need to throw the left under the bus is in there. All of it is, right? And, and it's all little crumbs and shit. I mean, the whole book is out there, right? I mean, why are they spreading all these crumbs around and playing all these games when there's already a book out there to take out the left, right? Or to take down the establishment or whatever. The whole fucking book. I've got the book, okay? That thing should take everybody out. But I think the reason that they really came and attacked me, after they attacked me, I was still kind of like, <laughs> you know... Uh, it didn't turn me into a zombie because I have what I like to call R value, right? And not to mention that, I wasn't even chasing the Q stuff around, media. I wasn't even in that game. No, my game was, hey, wow, check it out. All these people around me are getting flu shots and nobody's got the flu. Let me do a little research on that. Holy shit, this chart right here that has Alzheimer's on it, okay, looks exactly like the flu activity shot, a chart over here, right? And that was the holy grail. And that's when I really got tortured, right? And in, in the meantime, you've got the government putting on this big fantasy Q thing in order to find out who the frogs are, suck them in, go to their IP addresses, and uh, and, and nullify the, the, their threat. They're uh, nonconformist, certain entities in the government, the deep state probably, these people that want... that. Nobody to be a patriot anymore, you know, the Jews, <laughs> pretty positive of that. The people that run the media, the people that came here and tortured me, by the way, with big tech, didn't realize I had other technology here who are still trying to ruin my life, by the way. And the whole fact of the matter is, motherfuckers, that little storm cue book that you got is nothing compared to what I have. And that's why you exercise your displeasure with me to the best of your ability with your low-tech fucking tech that you have. And you didn't realize there was far superior tech here that's just bending you over every opportunity that it gets and ramming a big fat dick up your ass. <laughs> and then that Chinese shit seems to like me too. <laughs> I know you might think I'm nuts. I'm... <laughs> Little put on here. I'm getting into character, if you will. Kind of like uh, Hillary Clinton uh, used to whenever she'd talk to a black church or like Al Gore. <laughs> you know, that technology's here too. <laughs> but the funny thing about it is the technology that was here originally, the Lockheed Martin technology, taking our time right behind your back. We're going to serve it to you. <laughs> We stole all y'all's technology. <laughs> How you like them apples? So anytime ever I, I start talking about, oh, I'm going to be a billionaire here pretty soon, or I'm about to be a millionaire, or I'm going to get paid for all of this information that I've come up with, and there's every agency in the fucking country watching me right now, and whatever this technology is that drives the media gives me chest pains every time I say that because it's entrained my heart with tech nanotechnology and gave me three heart attacks and sent me to the hospital with a fucking stroke, and I still have all the doctor bills and everything to prove that, and I'd like to sue the fuck out of it whenever I find out for sure who it was, and after I'm, I'd like to murder them mostly, but I'd sue them first, and then I'd murder them. <laughs> Smart way to do it. But, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Um, you see what I'm getting at here? Uh, it, it's just a little, another little additional to the last video I just made. And shit's popping in my head right now. Things that I should review. This whole Q thing's a scam. Okay. The, the playbook's out there. I mean, this, everything in that book is enough information in. That's probably why they put the entire country to sleep. But what's funny is everything that's in that book is like absolutely nothing compared to the shit that I've come up with, which I just see on, I just see it around me. It's like, it's not even something I have to go looking for. It's just everywhere. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, all of this stuff that I've been coming up with is it just, it's, it's like all around you. You don't have to go looking for dirt. The dirt is everywhere you look. Everywhere. Everybody's a zombie. You put the whole country to sleep. I mean, <laughs> you realize that this shit's gonna... When this balloon bust, any and everybody that was behind this shit that's pushing this technology out there to destroy white people and murder them and kill them and all that stuff and uh, basically commit white genocide, you do realize you're gonna probably... I, if it was up to me, I would torture you to death like you tried to do to me. You know, an eye for an eye. Except you didn't succeed in killing me because I had other technology here that probably stepped up and right as you almost killed me in your little uh, uh, snuff films you were doing and things. It it booted you off of whatever it was, you, were, however this technology works, but it entrains your heart and all that stuff and basically caught you in the act of all of that. And that's the dilemma right now, isn't it? That's the pickle, isn't it? You've been doing this so long that you realize, well, you might lose the country because of this information, huh? So you put everybody to sleep. <laughs> you see how evil this shit is? <laughs> These people are fucking evil. And it's the reason they're evil is the computer driving them is evil, right? And they got more dirt on the, the media has all the dirt on the government. I don't know why. Look, military, here's, here's the quickest way to nullify the situation, right? Take them all out at the same time. Any of these people that has all this dirt that's trying to destroy the country, there's nothing wrong with having some dirt in the political realm and things like that if you're not trying to destroy the country, right? I think these people want to use this dirt as a uh, slow process to destroy the country, and, and they're just bleeding this dry. And it's those people, military, that you need to... Uh, a simultaneously, just simultaneously execute them, like uh, annihilate them. Just one night, the, you'll have them all pinpointed where they're at and have like an entire group, you know, a whole bunch of people or technology or whatever, just assassinate all of them at the same exact time, and then you won't have nothing to worry about, right? You know who they are. Uh, uh, basically, the entire media. <laughs> Except for one guy who I've been channeling information back and forth for you, the military, to pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> the one guy I had left is still around who didn't take vaccinations, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> See the pickle there? See, he didn't take vaccinations, and I got Russian pussy. <laughs> you see the pickle there? <laughs> You see why there's a very high likelihood that we could be pinky in the brain there? <laughs> so one thing about pinky in the brain, if you ever notice in pinky in the brain, it says one is a genius, the other is insane. Pinky in the brain, pinky in the brain. So pinky's the genius and brain's insane. But genius and insanity walks a fine line, right? So they're both, they're, <laughs> you're getting a picture here. <laughs> Food for thought. <laughs>